Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord, everybody, right where you are. Thank you, Jesus. Father, we thank you for this day's journey. We thank you for your son, Jesus. We thank you for your Holy Spirit, Lord. We thank you for your word. Thank you for watching over us, keeping us wrapped up in your loving arms and protection, Lord. Father, we bless your holy name. And as we go into our kingdom building exercises tonight, we ask, Father, that you would allow your Holy Spirit to be with us wherever we may be around this globe. And Father, we give you all the praise and all the glory in Jesus' most holy name. And the Holy Ghost is our witness. And all of God's children said, Amen, Amen, and Amen. Who, my Lord. It's another day's journey, family. And I don't know about you, but I'm glad about it. <laughs> praise the Lord. Greetings to you, my brothers and sisters, in the name of our Lord, Savior, and indeed our Redeemer, Jesus Christ. Welcome to 7-Minute Kingdom Building. I'm your host, C.L. Champion, pastor of Mount Mary Missionary Baptist Church in the blessed city of Sasso, Georgia, where we have in-person worship service each second and fourth Sunday, this Sunday coming. Um, 10.30 starts our Sunday school. 11.30 starts our praise and worship. And uh, if by chance you're in the area, please, ma'am, please, sir, stop in and help us uplift the name of Jesus. And I'm sure you'll be glad that you did. Family, uh, tonight, uh, well, this topic uh, for the week has been New Year, Same God. Yeah, this is the first week of the new year of 2023. Y'all gonna have to hear me say it one more time tomorrow. <laughs> Praise the Lord. It, it be the Lord's will. Um, so our topic, New Year, Same God. But tonight, this Thursday, the 5th of January, um, our subtopic is going to be Live peaceably. Oh, my Lord. Uh, join me in your Bible, book of Romans, chapter 12, um, verses 14 through 18, where we find the following recorded. Bless them which persecute you. Bless and curse not. Rejoice with them that do rejoice and weep with them that weep. Be of the same mind one toward another. Mind not high things, but condescend to men of low estate. Be not wise in your own conceits. Recompense no man evil for evil. Provide things honest in the sight of all men. If it be possible, as much as lieth in you, live peaceably with all men. Who praise the Lord. That's our subtopic tonight. Live peaceably. Family, again, New Year, same God. His word has not changed. If you didn't do it in 2022, then please, ma'am, please, sir, do it right now in 2023. We must, mm, Jesus, thank you, Holy Ghost. We must adhere to the word of God. We must live that life that God has placed before us. So uh, live peaceably. Your choice, your candidate didn't win the election. Guess what? Live peaceably. Uh, your neighbor keeps up too much noise in the wee hours of the night. You know what? Live peaceably. Can't get along with your family members. Brother, sister, daughter, wife, mother, brother, whoever it may be. Live peaceably. Mm, mm, mm. Just like joy comes from God. Look at Psalms 30 um, uh, and 4. Starting at verse 4, it says, Sing unto the Lord, O ye saints of his, and give thanks at the remembrance of his holiness. For his anger endureth but a moment. In his favor is life. Weeping may endure for a night, but joy cometh in the morning. Hallelujah. So just like joy, so too is peace. Jesus said, uh, John 14, uh, starting at 23, he says, Jesus answered and said unto him, If a man love me, he will keep my words, and my Father will love him, and we will come unto him and make our abode with him. He that loveth me not keepeth, keepeth not my sayings. And the word which ye hear is not mine, but the Father's which sent me. These things have I spoken unto you, being yet present with you. But the Comforter, which is the Holy Ghost, whom the Father will send in my name, he shall teach you all things and bring all things to your remembrance, whatsoever I have said unto you. Then Jesus said, Peace I leave with you. My peace I give unto you. 
Not as the world giveth, give I unto you. Let not your heart be troubled, neither let it be afraid. Who? My God. Jesus said, He given us His peace. He gave us His peace. God, my Father, live peaceably, family. Be kind always. Be holy always. Praise the Lord. Um, tomorrow, we will close out this week's series. We will discuss about our never changing God. Hallelujah. As the years come and go, God remains the same. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah, somebody. I'm praying to you right now, Father God, that you would, uh, first of all, I just want to thank you for all that you've done, everything that you're doing, and anything you have in store for us in the future. Father, we thank you. Thank you for your son, Jesus. Thank you for your Holy Spirit. Thank you for your word, Lord. There is consolation in your word. There is guidance in your word. There is love in your word. There is direction in your word, Father. Lord, we ask that you give us the strength to, whenever things get hard, and we're trying to live peaceably, Lord, we ask that you allow your Holy Spirit to guide us back to your word. Father, we'll be ever so grateful and ever so mindful to give you all the praise and all the glory. So, Lord, we thank you for this night. We thank you for this word. We thank you for everyone who might be tuning in. Lord, we bless your holy name. We thank you. And it's in Jesus' most holy name that we do pray. And the Holy Ghost is our witness. And all the children of God said amen, amen, and amen. Ooh, God bless you, family. Uh, look, <laughs> share this message with somebody. Remember, Jesus loves you, and so do I. Praise the Lord. I know it was his blood. I know it was his blood. I know it was his blood. That saved me. Oh, one day when I was lost. Jesus died on yonder's cross, and I know it was his blood that saved me. Good night, family. Oh, it was his blood.